Alrighty, so the NT card definitely has given me better performance than the HP, but I do have to think that has more to do with the fact that this is a pretty much a bog stock 66. Uh, the HP carb I think is designed for a higher capacity engine, you know, maybe with a big exhaust, high compression head, all the upgrades. I think if like me you're not doing that, it's just not worth the point. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to, to test is uh, I went and put this old banana muffler back on. Uh, this was the pipe that I had on the Mark 2.5 when I did the high speed tests. And I got close to the same top speed on flat ground with a 56 tooth sprocket and uh, that exhaust. Now I normally don't like these exhausts because they feel like they're a lot of noise and not a lot of gain. But I was getting, uh, you know, a better speed on the other bike. Caveat, that's the old frame behind me there, is a hell of a lot lighter. Uh, this Mark V is a really, really heavy bike. It's a big bike in its own right, but I've also got uh, the 1000 watt front hub, the battery on the back, plus the weight of the motor and the bigger tank. So it is hauling uh, a lot more weight around. Uh, than what it was on a lighter bike uh, but I'm curious to see whether or not this pipe will actually uh, affect our top speed now on level ground that has been between about 48 and 52 kilometers an hour and I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to shatter that uh, with this pipe uh, but there's only one way we're going to uh, be able to test that, and that's to get out there and uh, fire it right up. I forgot to lock the battery in and I was just about to go for a mountain run. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, it might seem odd that I rode the whole way back on the e-bike considering this was only held in by the strength of the connectors uh, except I was concerned that the engine vibrations would uh, help rattle that loose uh, that could have been a lot worse than what it just was you can see right where the pedal's been hitting oh well
more or less the steepest part of the hill. There's a fun track to go down. I've taken the giant down that one once or twice, but I am pushed for time. So I'm not gonna go any further up. But I'm curious to see what the elevation change is for the whole mountain. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. This back tire looks a bit flat. Better we're getting home now, I think. Look, Ma, no e bike. So as expected, that cheap as chips banana muffler made a whole lot of noise and not a really noticeable gain in uh, torque or top end. Now this engine runs beautifully, loves wide open throttle, but uh, this was the last ride I will take on it. That motor's coming off, because in there is a BT100. So coming up next is the unboxing and examination uh, of that engine. And my next job now is to start stripping this engine off the frame, 
and putting the BT100 on. So keep an eye out for that.